The New York Post reported on Tuesday that the Chicago White Sox are aging closer to being sellers at the August 1st trade deadline. They have a wealth of starting pitching that, could, that they could deal, including Lance Lynn and Lucas Giolito. But the dream acquisition by the Houston Astros is Dylan Cease. Holy crap. If you pick up Dylan Cease, Urquidy comes back. Hunter Brown has really got he has struggled in his second season. He is uh he is not he and Jeremy Pena in their second seasons. Well, this is actually I it, it, in all fairness, this is this is Hunter Brown's rookie season. It just feels like it's his second season because he was a September call up and we saw so much and we saw how good he was and he played such a, a, a he did. He played a good a big role in the Astros winning the World Series uh, last year, but this year, he's really scuffling. The second time around, he's going to have to make some adjustments with his pitches. He's got to he's got to uh, he's got to do some stuff because the league is adjusted to him. But he's still a rookie. Um, if you add Dylan Cease to Fromber, who by the way, D- Dusty had an update for him. Apparently, Fromber walked into or just looked into his office and gave him a smile. So Dusty thinks he's okay. I don't know what that does. Does, 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 does that how they do doctoring I guess, now? That's right. If you wink at your doctor, okay, you're you're all good. You're all good right now. So Dylan Cease, and then Michael Schwab had this to say about it. It's not only Dylan Cease, but Lewis Robert as well. Luis Robert as well. Are right, what now? What now? If you pick up Dana Brown, if he picks up Dylan Cease and Luis Robert this this trade deadline, now what do you have? What are you going to have to? You're going to have to give up. It at the at a minimum at a minimum, it's Chaz McCormick. I mean, I, I'm seeing some trade. I mean, some some people. I just I you got you're kidding, right? Uh, who is it? This is Jerry. I think a package of Jake Myers and Corey Lee gets you Cease. No. Dylan Cease is a beast. Dylan Cease is a top-line all-star pitcher that you're picking up here. A front-of-the-rotation guy. You don't get you don't get him for Jake Myers and Corey Lee. That's the that's the beauty of fan trades versus real trades, is that it does never hurts when a fan wants to make a trade. No, you give up very little to get something really, really good. Right, and you, it and it goes both ways. When you have the prime the the prime asset, you think you should get it all. Right, even though there are things in play that won't allow you to get it all. A trade generally means everyone's a little pissed, and it comes to a compromise. You rarely see a deal unless you're going Daryl Morey circa like 2012 when he was a Rockets GM, where he's stealing people from. From other teams and other t- and Rocket fans are completely happy. That's not how trades generally work. Some you're going to be a little hurt by it, no matter what. And giving up what Corey Lee and who again for and, Dylan and Cease, Jake Myers probably not going to be so enough. back a guy who's no longer your best prospect at catcher and a guy you don't even want on your team in center field. So that's what you're going to give up for a Dylan Cease. Nope. Nope. Yeah. That ain't going to get sure, it done. And I'm sure Dylan Cease, the fans of that team, um, the White Sox, are saying. Hey, is Jordan available? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, right. Okay, Kyle Tucker, gonna... don't you guys have to pay Kyle Tucker soon? Yeah, right. Can we get Kyle <laughs> Tucker back? And both are completely unrealistic. Well, if you right, well, if you Kyle Tucker, holy crap! Here's a, here's another thing. We keep on talking about Sho- Shohei Otani, and you're not going to get anything from him unless you trade him right away. You know, you're getting close. Next next trade deadline, you're going to be in that same situation with Kyle Tucker because he's going to have a year and two months left on his contract, and you ain't signing him. So are you going to – everybody, yeah, they should trade Otani. You better get something for him. Well, you better feel that same way about Kyle Tucker next year at this time because next year at this time, Kyle Tucker is going to be a year and two months away from leaving your baseball team, and you're not going to get anything for him. So – yeah, if you if you feel that way about Shohei Itani right now, and that's not because Kyle Tucker just wants out, it's because the Rock, the Astros aren't in the mood to give the deal that Kyle Tucker's going to ask for. Like they have a policy where they're not going to give him what he's going to ask as far as length of deal. Exactly. 
Yeah, well, yeah, he wants a – see, they love these guys. Bregman took a five-year, $100 million deal. Altuve took a five-year, and then not, uh, and then another one – Maybe his first one, I forget, was his first one. I, I think seven might have been a number, but um, I would have to look. But, you know, he took a, a shorter deal. Jordan took a shorter deal. Um, these they, they love that you're going to take a five-year deal and not deal with the arbitration years. That's fine with the Astros. That That's that's wonderful for them. Now, they did give Altuve another contract. We'll find out whether or not they're going to give Bregman another contract. We'll find out whether Jordan's going to be. Jordan's in the first year of, of this deal anyway, so you've got a long way to go with him. But they're not giving 10-year deals. They just don't. They're just not giving ten year deals. So you gotta deal with that. That that's something that you're gonna have to the Astros and Astros fans are going to have to deal with uh forever. So um so you, here's the deal is he said no Drew Gilbert. You know, Drew Gilbert is off the market. He ain't we ain't doing that. We'll see. We'll see whether or not they're gonna do that with Drew Gilbert. Because if the if the White Sox are asking, if you get Luis Robert and you get Dylan Cease, Cease has two arbitration years left, that would be Totally sweet to have him for two years and then possibly, or what the Astros do, instead of going through those two arbitration years, we'll give you a five-year deal right now, Dylan Cease, and we'll see whether or not Dylan Cease would take that. That would put him at 30, 32 years old coming out as a free agent, so I don't know whether or not he would do that. Uh, we'll see whether or not, but that's what the Astros game is. We'll, we'll take out your arbitration years and we will give you a five-year deal. That means we've had, we have you for the first four years of your, of your contract. And then we got five more years. We got you for nine and we're, you know, we got rid of the arbitration years and we're going to, we're going to keep you around for that, that amount of time, but we don't want you when you're in your mid thirties, late thirties. So we'll see whether or not, and look at Jose Altuve is breaking down now. I mean, they're, the way that the Astros go about this is not bad. It's blasphemy to say anything negative about Jose Altuve, but hey, the, the thumb was an accident and all that. But the oblique now, two different oblique stints now that we're on with Jose Altuve, he's an older player. Yeah, 33 and not just regular season games played. He's, oh, He's gone deep in the playoffs since 2015. Absolutely. Um, there was a little. There was that non-playoff year in 2016. Just a lot of games on those legs and, and the rest of the body. So at some point, uh, this was bound to happen. And and the Astros, at least so far, have had the foresight to go. Okay, we love you guys, but we don't love you into your mid to late 30s, and we have to make decisions that are best for the franchise. And some of those decisions will piss off not only the players because hey, look how much I've done for you. Why can't you lock me in? with what I want and also upset the fans. But so far, the Astros have made decisions to let go players, whether it be because of financial obligations or just length of deal, and they've been right so far. Um, they And I think Altuve, when he when maybe he comes and asks for his one final deal, that will be the test where he goes, hey, I want to retire here, but I would like a deal that, that represents what I've meant to the franchise, and we'll see if they say, we appreciate it, Jose, but it's not a smart decision for us. So if you want to play your final year in some place who wants a name, great. But we're not going to do it. That'll be that'll be the ultimate test if they, they if they decide that Jose Altuve doesn't retire and play his entire career at the Astros. Luis Robert, his I don't know why the White Sox would get rid of Luis Robert because he's got a very team friendly deal. Um, although he is also a guy that has been up and down as far as injuries go. He's got four years left with two of the, those years club control. At twenty million each, and he's going to only make twelve five next year, fifteen the year after. That's a very friendly deal. He is, if healthy, one of the better players in Major League Baseball, one of the better outfielders. So he certainly is a guy with four years left on his deal, and he's still young. He's still in his late twenties. So that would be a contract that you would definitely like to acquire. I don't know why the White Sox would get rid of him, but. If uh, if Michael Schwab is right, I, the New York Post was reporting just the Dylan Cease deal, not the Louis, Luis Robert deal. But if Luis Robert is part of that, you're going to have to give up a lot, people. You're going to have to give up a lot, and <clears throat> I don't know, I don't know what that would be, but it might. It's going to hurt. It's going to hurt. 